What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, bringing you an NXT recap. I will be doing the same for AEW, it's just I haven't watched AEW yet. And I've been <clears throat> avoiding YouTube like the plague, so I don't get spoiled. Even I told wrestling for fans to not give me any spoilers, and he hasn't. So, let's get right into this because NXT, <clears throat> NXT, it wasn't one hour on USA and the other hour on WWE Network. This was a two-hour show, and we start off the show with the NXT Championship match. The NXT title match. It is Adam Cole. Baby, no. Tried so hard. Versus Bro. Matt Riddle. This was a solid opener. Uh, Adam Cole won with the last shot. Um, then then we have Uh, I'm just going to bounce around. Uh, even though I was texting myself notes. Does anybody else do that? You know, put your phone number in and... While you're watching the show, you're texting notes and you text them and you send the text to yourself. Um... Okay, so we had Mia Yim versus Io Shirai, and uh, it, uh, this was a great, this was a great match. Io won with a moonsault. Uh, there was a package. There was a package for uh, Tegan Knox. There was also another package for. I believe the guy's name is Kashida. And Walter. There was also a package for Leo Rush versus Drew Gulak. And for the Cruiserweight title. So, there was also Candice LeRae versus Shayna Baszler. Candice put up a commendable fight but in the end she comes up short uh, and Shayna Baszler wins with the Kudakita Kudakita 
Coracata? Coracata Clutch. Basically a rear naked choke. Um, or at least that's what it looked like to me. After the Adam Cole and Matt Riddle, Finn Balor makes his return to not only NXT, but the WWE, and he gets on the microphone and says that as of now, Finn Balor is in X. Okay. Um, Velveteen Dream issued a challenge to Roderick Strong, and uh, he said that you know I want to challenge I want to challenge you, but if you're uh, but you're probably too afraid to step out of the Undisputed Era's shadow, yada, yada, yada. Um, it was a good promo. Um, oh, shoot. Um, oh, we had a match, uh, with, between Pete Dunn and Danny Birch. And this was a very good... This was a very, this was a very brutal match. Uh, not brutal in the in the sense that they were bleeding buckets all over the place, but uh, <clears throat> there were times where Pete Dunn or Danny would do something. And, uh, and it would just look horrific. Um, Danny puts up a great effort. This is basically just two hosses going at each other. Um, but Pete Dunn gets the win. And then he gets he gets the win with the bitter end. And then I'm I, I I was busy taking I was busy taking notes on my phone, and I look up, and I'm wondering what's going on because then. Uh, um, because then, uh, Damien, uh, Damien Priest lays out Pete Dunn with I have no idea if this is a dig at Cody and AEW or not. But Damian Priest was did the did the crossroads and then he did the whole stardust Shooting, uh, shooting an invisible arrow 
and then Damien's, and then Damien Priest's name appears. Uh, I know <laughs> that I'm I I know that this is gonna sound a little crazy but I don't think it was a dig um but it made Damien Priest make his attentions clear which is great now we go to the main event where it's the street profits taking on bobby fish and kyle o'reilly of the undisputed era um before that uh before that match, uh, before that match actually comes about, before that, uh, we, we go to a backstage segment where, uh, Oh, where Charlie Caruso is interviewing Adam Cole. And basically, basically, uh, Adam says a couple of words, and then the entire Undisputed Era come walking in, and they're asking about Finn Balor, and Adam just shuts them right down, says it's, forget Balor, we are, we need to make sure the prophecy comes true, which, wrestling for fans are going to have to help me, because I have no idea what, what prophecy they're Adam was talking about, uh, and and uh, they they say that a Adam says that we are uh, we are to make sure that Bobby and. Kyle come out as NXT champions. Then we go on to that main event where uh, where the Street Profits with Wally uh, are um are okay I lost my train of thought and then Kyle and Bobby come out then this was a great way to end the show. Um, no pun intended here, but the match was phenomenal. And the more I got to watch, the more I got to watching the Street Profits. Am I crazy? Have you seen it? 
the more I got to thinking. This is a modern day Harlem Heat. And I do whole. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, but anyway. Um, the, the Undisputed Era. When. But. Oh, and, uh, oh, what, one of the Street Profits took, took all the abuse, going into a hot tag, and the, The Undisputed Era win with the help of the Undisputed Era. And it was a great way to end the show. Now, there are... Oh, and then after that, I had to go to the bathroom. And when I came back... Tommaso Ciampa has returned from... I believe he had a neck injury? Now, there are... Now, I wasn't... Uh, the Undisputed Era won with a... They named... They, they put a name to the double team maneuver, but... Uh, they just won with a double team move. And it was a cool double team move, though. And now there were now there were things that I there was one thing that I really did enjoy about NXT. And that is... First off, NXT was 30 minutes free commercial. Which I also heard... Which, I, which me and Wrestling for Fans were talking last night. And AEW did the same exact thing. Um, now, um, but after that 30 minute free commercial time, they were using the split screen and I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I know I know Raw uses it sometimes, and I know SmackDown uses it sometimes. Well, SmackDown uses it way more than Raw. Raw only uses Raw's only done it twice, and that was just for an entrance. Um, and I will be doing a SmackDown recap as well. So, I thoroughly enjoyed NXT. And when I watch AEW, I will be giving a definitive answer to who won to to who won week one. I'm hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's make that 1,000 subscriber mark. Also, at 40 subscribers, I will be doing a Q&A video. You can send your Q&A questions to ChristopherBox25 at gmail.com, or you can put them in the comments below. Don't forget to go show my friends, Wrestling for Fans, Spooky Robocop, 
and Anton Masters. Some love.